Everybody ready? One of the pieces of legislation I aggressively pushed through a special session of the General Assembly in the summer of 2009 was an overhaul of the Kentucky Tourism Development Act. I had two goals. First, to help to attract a coveted Sprint Cup NASCAR race to the Kentucky Speedway. And secondly, to strengthen the language in the Tourism Act to improve its effectiveness as an economic development tool. As you now know, we did attract that NASCAR Sprint Cup race. It comes to Gallatin County in the Kentucky Speedway in July of 2011. Today I want to talk about another success, an exciting and huge development nearing fruition in Grant County, one that is projected to attract 1.6 million visitors in its first year and create close to 900 jobs. Those are big numbers. Now, those of you familiar with state government know that normally we'd wait until everything was in place to come forward. But with the array of rumors and leaks already out in the public, we wanted to come out and set the record straight. The project is called the Ark Encounter. It's a theme park designed to bring to life the various stories and places in the Bible. The primary feature of the proposed 160-acre complex will be a full-scale full replica of Noah's Ark. It will also include a host of other attractions, along with a theater, a play area, and other amenities. It's designed to open in spring of 2014. The organizers of this for-profit project are here with us today, and you will hear from them a description of this project in a lot more detail. But let me express why state government and local officials in not just Grant County, but also in the numerous surrounding counties, are so excited. The numbers alone tell the tale. This is a $150 million investment that is projected to create nearly 900 jobs, including almost 550 full-time jobs. In this difficult economy, these are jobs that are desperately needed. Judge Executive Darrell Link can speak to that in just a moment. Furthermore, ARC Encounter officials are projecting first-year attendance of 1.6 million people, with that increasing to 1.8 million by year five. Those, of course, are projections, but regardless of the exact number, it will be big, and those visitors will make a huge economic impact on that whole area and on the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Organizers of the Ark Encounter project, uh, uh, project predict that more than 80% of its visitors will come from out of state, creating an economic impact of $214 million in the first year of its opening with a $250 million impact by year five. This is money spent outside the facility at places like restaurants, hotels, retail stores, and gas stations. Make no mistake about it, this is a huge deal to Grant County, to Northern Kentucky, and to the entire Commonwealth. Now, a few things have to happen first. I understand organizers have an option to buy 800 acres in the county, and naturally that sale will have to come to pass. Furthermore, they are asking and need the state to partner with them. We have this morning received a formal application for participation in the sales tax reimbursement program of the Kentucky Tourism Development Act. Secretary Marquita Sparrow and her people at the Cabinet for Tourism, Arts, and Heritage will take the appropriate steps to review that application, including considering its fiscal impact. If the application passes that analysis, it would eventually require approval by the Kentucky Tourism Development Finance Authority. As I indicated earlier, we strengthened the Tourism Act to help us create jobs and attract visitors, which this project clearly will do, and to give a boost to projects that otherwise might not happen. Ark Encounter officials have said from the beginning that the Tourism Act was what brought them to consider Kentucky for this huge investment in the first place. And I would remind you, these incentives are entirely performance-based. They have to perform and meet all of the projections or they don't get the incentives. And we like the way this program is set up. 
We are eager to work with Ark Encounter officials to make this exciting tourism project happen, and we look forward to its completion. And before I ask uh, some other folks here to say a few words, I want to uh, ask you all to come over and we'll unveil a couple of pictures uh, of the project. Next we have uh, Carrie. Yep. Thank you, Governor. Carrie Summers. 